Alrighty folks, so today we're going to be doing a little bit of work on the brush hog. This thing, uh, it, it's, it's worse for wear, but it still, it still works for the most part. Uh, however, last time that I used it last year, as I was disconnecting it, I realized that there's a fair bit of play in this front joint here. Um, and so this this really needs to get replaced before it gets used any further. So I've got two new joints here. Uh, the one closer to the uh, the gearbox there, that one feels fine, but given that they're probably both the same age, I figure might as well just go ahead and do them both while we're at it. Um, and that way we don't have to worry about that one going here in another few months once this starts getting used a bit more. Yep, came out. I don't know where it went. I don't know where that one went either. You are not helping at all. Not at all. No. go all right there's one cap off Good girl Finally, in a six. All right. to tighten that down with as well. All right, I'm not sure how much of that you guys got because the battery, battery ran out of juice on me, but we got all of the, the uh, snap rings in there, so that's held in place. I got the grease zerk finger tight, and we'll just get that tightened down the rest of the way. Now that is ready to go. Thank you. 
All right, so with the brush hog more or less sort of kind of fixed up, uh, we're here in the side woods. So it's this is between the turkey field, which is down there, that's the hay field, and then the side field is up here at the top of this hill. Now my dad came through here a couple few-ish years back and cleared a bunch of it out, and you can see the remaining pile up there that's kind of starting to rot down. The problem is that nothing further was done over here after then and so this whole hillside over here all that kind of greenish color you can see is all autumn olive that's sprouting back now it's pretty thick in there but it's all really small it's kind of short ish stuff so it's probably no bigger around than your fingers and up to maybe four or five feet tall so what i want to do is i want to get in here and mow a few paths through it while the uh, the leaves aren't totally out that way i can kind of see where i'm going see if there's any big rocks or ruts or anything else like that that i don't want to be driving through uh get a few paths cut through here um, now before stuff gets totally leaved leaved leafed leafed out there we go and then ultimately what i'll probably do is a little bit of spraying here later after uh, stuff gets fully leafed out um, but having these paths cut through here will give me some place that I know is good to drive. Um, and I'm not having to pick my way through um, kind of blindly after all the leaves are out on all these bushes. All right, that went pretty well going around on there. Um, this hillside, I now know, is pretty much just about as steep as what the Massey 35 can do. Going straight up that hillside there, I think if it were any steeper, it'd probably start spinning. You could just tell that it was just, sometimes it would start to spin and then it would catch a little bit and it would it made its, made its way up through there. But anywho, so that I think is good enough. Um, I got, I don't know, maybe four or five good little paths going up and down through there and another couple kind of going side to side across. Um, and seeing as that went relatively quickly, I think I'm going to kind of do the same thing over in this area, around over in here, um, down on the flat, just make a few paths around through that as well, just to make it a little bit easier to get down through there later on this spring. All right, well, I'm not sure how much of that you can see. It's kind of hard to kind of hard to show a big flat area like that without having a really good vantage point from kind of like the opposite hill or something. Maybe I, maybe I should have set you up over there. But anyway, got the, uh, got the paths cut over through there. In fact, I think you can kind of see one of them right, right, right in there. So hopefully that should uh, help facilitate getting this area around in here cleaned up a little bit, get some of this autumn olive cleaned out of here, get it killed off, or at least kind of to more of a, a manageable level where it's not just a, a constant carpet all the way, well, it's more than a carpet, but you know, just solid all the way through there for the underbrush. Ideally, what I think I might like to have in this area is if I could thin it out a little bit, you might be able to turn this into kind of a, a silva pasture where you got grass and you got trees mixed together. But that would definitely require thinning out a few of the trees in here. Uh, and it would definitely mean getting all of the autumn olive out of here so that the grass is able to grow and it's not completely shaded out. But I'm not entirely sure if that's that's the direction I want to go with this, this area or not. But either way, definitely do not want the autumn olive in here. So this is the first step for getting rid of that. So I think that's going to be it for this video. Uh, as you can see, brush hog seems to be working just fine. And that was that was today's goal. So I, uh, I don't think there's anything more to, more to add to this one. So that's going to be it for today. As always, I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you next time.